horse walks into the bar. The bartender says, why the long face? What do you call a fish with no eyes? I don't know. <laughs> wow, that's bad. That's so bad. <laughs> you know my favorite meta joke? What's brown and sticky? What? A stick. What's red and smells like blue, blue paint? What? Red paint. <laughs> <laughs> she got Jamie giggling. <laughs> I'm sorry, a guy wakes up after a long night drinking with his work buddies. He's totally hungover, but he notices that there's a chocolate on his bedside table with a rose, a glass of water, and two aspirin. He takes the aspirin, drinks the water, the better goes downstairs. The house is immaculate, perfect. His wife has left him go and says, I'm off shopping, love you. And his son is at the breakfast table and he says, what happened last night? And the son says, oh, you came home at 3 a.m., threw up on the floor, broke the coffee table, and fell into bed, covered in your own sick. And he says, why is the house all neat and clean? He says, because when mom was trying to undress you to put you in bed, you said, get your hands off me, I'm married. <laughs> standing there said one question so he says the first nun who was the first man on earth and the nun says oh that's easy it's Adam so not you yeah. <laughs> so then the second nun comes up and he says who's the first who on earth and she says oh Eve and then the third one comes up and he says so what were the first words spoken on earth and she goes oh that's a hard one and poof she was in heaven uh, <laughs> so a Scotsman is walking down the road and presently, he gets tired and decides to take a nap, so he curls up under a tree by the side of the road and falls asleep. What do you have an Because it's part of the joke. And as he's lying there prone, a young bony lass happens upon him. Bony? A bony lass. She sees him lying there prone and thinks, it's time to dis discern whether or not the myth about what Scott's been wearing in their kilt is in fact true. <laughs> so gingerly, she tiptoes up to him and lifts his kilt and sees that he's wearing nothing. And in fact, the myth is true. And so charmed is she by what she sees that she takes the ribbon from her hair and she ties it around him as an offering and goes on her way. He wakes up a couple of hours later, none the wiser, and starts walking. And after a while, of course, he's got to take a leap. So he pulls over to the side of the road. He lifts his kilt, he looks down, and he sees the ribbon, and he says, Ha! Well, I don't know where you've been, Luddy, but I'm glad to see you won first prize. <laughs> <laughs> 